A Texas nurse has been arrested after explicit videos were discovered on her husband's phone showing her engaging in inappropriate activities with her Great Dane. Her husband was apprehended for engaging in inappropriate behavior at a Texas supermarket. Upon confiscating his phone, the police discovered deeply unsettling videos of his wife involved in intimate acts with the family dog. According to the police, the phone contained a significant number of disturbing videos and photos. Authorities conducted a search at the residence of him and his wife, removing their children aged 18 and 10, as well as their three dogs. And both the husband and the wife were both arrested. Okay. Just if you guys are just wanted a visual of the person, this is her. Okay. I'm sure you guys already saw it on the thumbnail, but this her. Okay. And just in case you wanted to see a picture of the victim, this is the dog. <laughs> okay? So we don't see the person, we don't see the dog, and we see the story. What I thought was very mind-boggling about this situation is that, you know, you would think that hearing this information would be so unsettling that people would be like, wow, this is insane. Like, people people just take things too far. Or people are just, you know, they have their, their mentalities, and this is just you know, people who were kind of like off their rocker, like you would, you would think it would go to an extent that you would say, wow, this is, this is something that should be shameful. But just when I thought that women, um, you know, had maybe met their limit on what, how far they would go to defend other women, to my surprise, they went even further. Okay. This story is, is, is too much to even just digest. This woman was doing stuff with the dog. First of all, what was this man doing in the supermarket for people to need to confiscate his phone and go through it? Like, at, at what, what, what kind of foolishness, nastiness, what is it that was taking place that the authorities needed to put you in handcuffs and say, let me go through this phone and see what it is that you were doing? Not only did they find a trace of, all kinds of stuff that he was all in, in, you know, wrapped up in. They also found his wife and the stuff that she was doing. He was doing stuff or, or, or witnessing stuff or maybe filming stuff when it came to children. But she was doing stuff with their family pet. They had three. It looked like this one was her, her, her pet of choice. And you would think women would be like, oh, my gosh, the children, what's going on? Are the kids OK? Or is everybody? This is terrible. But instead. You have women in the comment section saying stuff like this. They always adding a nurse to an individual's bad behavior. And you have 418 people who liked it and 34 people who replied. This is foolishness. It does not take a rocket scientist to understand the reason why her profession was mentioned. It was clearly mentioned because this is somebody who is supposed to be a caretaker. This is somebody who's supposed to be um, in the most nurturing position, taking care of children, babies, whatever the case is. This is somebody who, it, you know, people go to when they are in need of help. And she is partaking in certain uh, activities that go against the moral compass. So it is absolutely understandable as to why they mentioned her profession. Makes a lot of sense. Not because these women are nurses. <laughs> Means that you have to try to say, oh, well, you know, not all nurses. This is something that women do time and time and time and time again. Did anybody, did anywhere in the post say that all nurses are bad? No, nobody said that. But because you just got a little title, you feel like you got to, you know, represent. When nobody asked to do that, call, call a spade a spade, call it what it is, call the behavior out. Yes, yeah, somebody who was also in the same profession that you are is doing foolishness. And what about it? 
you have somebody else um you have these other comments always the profession didn't really matter or need to be mentioned it absolutely did Oh, then. Oh, this was totally irrelevant. I'm thinking ahead. There's something in the hospital. Uh, something happened in the hospital. Folks in every prof profession are nuts. We know that it does not matter. This is allowing everybody to know. Be on guard anywhere you go. Do not send your children to the hospital because you don't know what's going on with them people. Do not send your children by themselves without care because you are expecting to rely on these people's moral compasses. Not because they have title named nurse means that they are a safe place. Watch keenly. Anybody who is finding a way to defend something or to deflect uh, uh, um, from the main subject. It must be because you don't want nobody watching what you do keenly. That's the only thing I could think. Because somebody who's in the same profession that knows that they are, you know, they can be trusted, that they're nurturing, that they're caring, that they, they think a certain way and they behave and maneuver in a certain manner. They are not going to be saying that. They're going to say, oh, my gosh, that's crazy. I can't believe that because, you know, us as nurses, we take an oath that we're going to do certain things. I can't believe that they would do that. People who always try to deflect and try to, you know, uh, uh. Oh, well, not all. Oh, because, well, it, our, our job has nothing to do. Oh, they didn't even need to bring up what she does. It did. They did. It don't matter what profession they had. It, it needed to be put out there. And I'm sure that the reason why it, the, the, her profession made it everywhere in the paper and the tabloids or whatever is because whoever first identified the story could not believe or could not fathom. And this is not a this is this is not a a, a, a a secretive situation. This happens all the time. Okay, if a doctor do something wrong, they're gonna say it. If it's a lawyer, whatever the case is, they are going to make sure that they make mention of the profession. I couldn't believe it of all the things that y'all heard about in this, in this article, the, the, the fact that you're focused on is the fact that they put nurse up there, not about the children who are affected by her husband, not about, uh, you know, the situation with her and the dog, nothing about, not about the fact that they have children in their household. The title of her job being mentioned is what worried you. Oh, Okay. Okay, this is the next one that grinded my gears, okay? This woman, unprovoked, commented and said, call me weird, but I just don't trust men who have dogs. Let's just stop right there, okay? Before we read the rest of the comment, let's just stop right here, full stop. What did any man have to do with this situation? No man anywhere was mentioned when it came to whatever had to go on with the dog besides the husband having the content in his phone so maybe he was a videographer i'm not sure a woman did something with the dog and just like most women do they have to find fault with a man and blame a man somehow for something. If they can't deflect like they just did and try to nitpick the title of, of her job title being in the description of the title. Now they deflect and try to blame a man somewhere. Nobody said anything about any man. Let's keep focused. Let's keep focused on what this woman is doing and what women are doing. How you don't trust a man, a man who has a dog, but this has nothing to do with a man. Let's let's stay. Let's stay on focus. Let's stay on on this woman. I would never date a man who owns a dog. I love I love dogs. I don't own a pet because I don't want a child. But there are complete websites dedicated to men doing all this kind of foolishness. Who asked you about that? Okay. 
You're talking about men who are doing things in a certain magnitude. We got that. This article is about this woman. Why, when it comes to holding a woman accountable, do you deflect or do you start calling on a man and trying to blame a man some way, somehow? Why? Y'all are on code so bad that y'all don't even realize when y'all on code. Because I can guarantee if somebody replied to this woman and said, let's stay on talking and talk about this. Well, no, I understand that. But I'm just trying to say you don't even realize to the magnitude of how much it hurts you or pains you that you can't just sit and hold a woman accountable and just stay in that space. You can't just sit in it. Yeah, that woman was wrong. Full stop. Because although you're talking about these people on sites, so is so whenever it comes to a certain act, it's these women. This is not the first story I covered of a woman doing something and getting caught with, her, with the family dog. Not the first time. But y'all want to bring up all type of different stories. And say when men, well, that, well, that's not fair because, because well, we can't talk about this because men do. Let's stay on, let's stay focused. This is a, a very vast difference than if you're, if you're watching something, you say, well, if, if um, a man did this, then people would approach it in this way. That's a vast, vast difference. Then when a woman has blatantly done something wrong. And y'all are saying, well, you see, this is why I don't trust men. What? Huh? <laughs> and I think men should add, add this on the list of things that they can't do right. Okay? Women talk about, you know, if a man does this, he's sassy. If a man does this, he's wrong. If a man does this, he's trifling. Now a man can't even have a dog. In my opinion, this is just more deflection because y'all the ones that have dogs. Laid up with you. I done, done done videos of women who who making their dog a full Thanksgiving uh, spread. But if a man asks you to make a sandwich, you say no. A lot of these women out here, if we're going to be honest, be talking about, I, you see, this is the only man in my life and it'd be a dog. So as y'all are going, you know, more and more into this feminist and, and we don't need men and, you know, we're not going to sleep with men and these center men and all this kind of stuff. Y'all are, are the only men that you guys are including in your lifestyles is your dogs. Oh, this is the only man that could truly love me. I watched a woman on TikTok. And if I can find the video, I will insert it. I watch a woman on TikTok talk about, oh, you know, he is just so jealous. And this woman could not get off the couch without her dog be putting both paws on her chest and, and looking her right in her eye and, and, and licking her all over her mouth. Oh, my gosh, he's so jealous. Oh, when my boyfriend comes over, he gets mad. Y'all playing games. That dog know why he acting like that. He know why that masculine energy in him got a problem. He know why he, he come over there and start barking at your man when your, your, your man kiss you. It's because while you're talking about, oh, he's my baby. Okay. He your man. But y'all don't want to talk about that. Because when women do foolishness, when women do disgusting things, when women do nastiness, it should be overlooked. We shouldn't talk about it. We should sweep it under the rug. It should be something we should act like it doesn't exist. It can only exist if men are doing stuff that's wrong. Make that make sense because it don't make sense to me. Child. I like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section <laughs> down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.